Dylan Fontwell then for the Southern National Handicap Chaser Nauta 20 Chase this time and on the top we've got Vintage Cherub for Craig Beck with Laver Pararriva, David Robertson, Popwell, David Hooley, Dance Around the Stars, Joshua Sutherland, Clubber Dinge for Padre Hogan, Intercity, Craig Beck with Kaleidoscopic River, Martin Leadham and Philly Eagle for Matt Cooper. So a field of eight and away they go, figure of eight, figure of eight, pieces of eight. Ooh, something anyway, Philly Eagle in the lead as they get to the first and then all safely over it with Intercity a little bit on time. That really is a Craig Beckwith. You've got two in this. Uh, mistakenly gave him a winner in the last race. And it was a Paul Rhodes horse running in. Something very similar to Craig Beckwith's colours. But it's Philly Eagle in the lead. For Matt Cooper, Pop is in second for David Hooley. And the purple jacket. David Hooley had a good start to the day earlier today. Looking towards the back dance around the stars. It's just a back marker, but they're very tightly grouped. As they race around this figure of eight track. And there's a fall of it. Club of Dinge is gone. So Padre Hogan's Club of Dinge is out of the race. Pretty early on at the second of the 16. Probably the shortest national we have, I think it's Southern National, 23 and a quarter miles as they get to the third. And they're all safe now with that one, although Intercity again is a little bit untidy. Philly Eagle settled down in front. Oh, Pop World and Kaleidoscopic River together sharing second as they get to the fourth. Laver Palariva on the inside of Dance Around the Stars has made a forward move. Craig Beckwith's horses are running together. They're just seven left in it, and Craig Beckwith's got two of them, so they're going to have a good chance of getting a real winner in this one. After I gave him a fake one in the last one, but it's Philly Eagle. Clear for Matt Cooper, who's got obviously a fellow NFL fan. Although he doesn't appear to be a fellow Pittsburgh Stigler fan like me. I haven't seen any mention of the Steelers in any of his names so far. It's Philly Eagle in the lead. Into the fifth. Oh, safely over that one. Cardiff Copic River has now dropped to the back. As they get over the sixth. They're all safely over the sixth. Philly Eagle in front, like Philly Eagle's fallen on the last twice. And we'll be having to put in a clear round. This time doing okay so far. Still the best part of two miles to go though. Skipped over the seventh quite nicely. And leads by a good four lengths to dance around the stars in second. And then Vintage Cherub and Lavar Perra River. Pop World is after that in the city. And finally Kaleidoscopic River. Philly Eagle the bottom weight in the lead. On Dance Around the Stars, he's gone a long way down the handicap for Joshua Summerdorf. I'm guessing that's usually heard, that. that's probably white. We've got a decent chase mark. Which he's hoping to take advantage of as they get over that ditch. With Philly Eagle in front. Around the start, second vintage cherub, third Lave Pelleriva, four. As they went their way downhill, for the Eagle skips over that blame one in the lead. But only about a length and a half up there. Oh, dance around the stars in second, a four length gap into Pop World. Then comes Lave Pelleriva, Intercity, Vintage Cherub, and Kaleidoscopic River. Over number 10 they go, and Kaleidoscopic River nearly went then. A real risk with that one. Got away with it. Philly Eagle continues to lead past the big screen, then one more circuit of the track to go. One of the tighter jump tracks this one's, and Philly Eagle in front. Pop World has now just moved through in a second. That one's been running wide on the track all the way around. Maybe looking for some better ground. Dance around the stars is third. Lave Pellery is fourth. Kaleidoscopic River has moved past the two. Greg Beckwith horses into City and Vintage Cherub as the horse in front. Philly Eagle just coming back to them a little bit. Just two lengths or so up on Pop World in second. Then there's a line of three of them chasing in third. 
And inside the final mile now, and this is Fence 11. The leader was slow that time, and it's allowed Popworld to jump into the lead. Popworld then on the outside of Philly Eagle, who's battling back on the inside. Jumped that one much better, and has jumped back into the front. So it's Philly Eagle back in the lead. Popworld is in second. Gap of three or four then to Kaleidoscopic River and Lavere. Pano River, Vintage Cherub, and Intercity are trying to make some ground. Dance around the stars, not going too well at the moment as they get over the 13th, and dance around the stars nearly went. So it's Philly Eagle in the lead. Philly Eagle from Pop World. Philly Eagle from Pop World. Kaleidoscopic River now being asked to join them in third. These three are clear of Lavea, Penariva, Vintage Cherub, and Intercity Dance Around the Stars. Can't take advantage of this low mark, and he'll have to be back to early next week. It's Philly Eagle in the lead from Kaleidoscopic River and Pop World. The one that's making good ground is, is the of Intercity, who's coming round the inside now to make up some ground. They've only got three more fences to take, and it's Philly Eagle who's been in the lead most of the way from Kaleidoscopic River, who's under pressure. Then comes Intercity and Pop World. Over the final ditch they go, and Kaleidoscopic River jumped into the lead. Kaleidoscopic River's gone a length or two clear. Coming down to the final two fences then. Kaleidoscopic River by two to Philly Eagle in second, Pop World is back in third, Vintage Cherub trying to run on, Intercity is getting closer over the second last, Kaleidoscopic River is over in the lead but they're closing the chasing pack Philly Eagle and Vintage Cherub, Intercity, Pop World, they're racing towards the final third of and a half, one to take, Kaleidoscopic River is going to need a good jump on it, he races over the pathway, races towards the final fence, Kaleidoscopic River skips over it slowly, he's being challenged now by Vintage Cherub on the inside, Kaleidoscopic River is under pressure, he's half still about two lengths clear though, racing into the final half fall on Kaleidoscopic River is hanging on from Vintage Cherub and Kaleidoscopic River takes us on the national from Vintage Cherub second in Pop World 30 in Intercity after that dance around the stars would have disappointed Josh not performing over fences but it's Kaleidoscopic River who takes it after a disappointing start to the season oh, hoping for good things from that one and that's a little bit more like it Kaleidoscopic River takes it for Martin Lee, Vintage Cherub is second for Craig Beckwith, Pop World for David Hilly was third, Intercity Craig Beckwith was fourth and Philly Eagle, long time leader for Matt Cooper was fifth.